Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. It is that time again. We are gonna check out some really cool assistive technology that I saw at recent conferences. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. I'm on the quest to hit 100,000 subscribers this year and with your help, I think I can make it happen. So click the subscribe button down below, turn on the bell notification so you can stay up to date with The Blind Life. I put out content just like this every single Saturday. But let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and check out some really cool assistive technology. Hi, I'm Shub, I'm the founder of Celeste, and we're making smart glasses to give people better independence. Uh, so I'm wearing glasses right now that have a camera, mic, and speaker, and they look very much like normal smart glasses. Uh, and so one of the things that we can do is scene description where if I press the buttons on the glasses, it'll describe basically everything around me. Um, I have it right now running through a speaker. We can also have it through uh, the glasses themselves. The image shows two individuals standing indoors, likely at a conference or event, as indicated by the Salesforce banner in the background, and the lanyard with a name tag reading attendee worn by the person on the left. The person on the left is dressed in business casual attire, with a dark blazer over a patterned button-up shirt and khaki trousers. The person on the right is wearing a black t-shirt with the text Slim Life in white and red, along with dark pants. <laughs> this individual is holding a camera with a strap and appears to be taking a photograph. <laughs> in the foreground, there is a yellow object that resembles a rolled up banner or poster. In the background, there are various booths with people and promotional materials, suggesting a business or trade fair environment. But then with the most uh, popular feature on the glasses is the smart assistant, where you know you can ask a specific question about any of that information, you know, like, you know, the person in front of me smiling or um, is the booth in front of me the Salesforce booth, stuff like that. So you just get the specific answer to a question. And how can people get a hold of you? Yeah, so uh, people get a, can get a hold of us through our website. We're selling them at uh, celeste.co. That's S-E-L-E-S-T-E dot C-O. And we sell the glasses on a subscription. So it's $50 a month and then 150 up front. And for that, we upgrade the software and the hardware for free. Hi, so we're building Page Connect. Page Connect is an upgrade for your classic Braille writer. You just swap the base of your Braille writer with our board, and it will transform it into a Bluetooth keyboard that will connect it wirelessly to any phone, tablet, or laptop to instantly translate what you're embossing in Braille into print. So you can collaborate with sighted teachers, sighted parents who don't know Braille, and you'll also get that audio feedback from your screen reader of what you're embossing. We've also built some simple learning software to help teach you Braille interactively, kind of like Duolingo for learning to touch read Braille. So we ship a box out to you like this and you just unscrew the base of your Braille writer and then you can install our board to connect it wirelessly to any device. So as I'm embossing on my Braille writer, it will appear on my computer and then we'll translate it into print and have it spoken back to you by your screen reader. We support grade one Braille, grade two and lots of different languages. You can find us at pagebraille.com, page spelled P-A-I-G-E. Hi, my name is Brandon Biggs and I am the CEO of XR Navigation. We are building the world's first inclusive visual, auditory, and tactile digital map viewer and editor. Whenever you go onto a website or app and see a map, it's completely blank right now with your screen reader. But with our tool, you can go in and explore that map and learn all the information that's there. So if you want to get Audium onto an app or a website, what you can do is contact the institution that has the map and tell them that you are a blind user and you want an accessible map. So contact XR Navigation and you can give them my email. It's info, I-N-F-O, at xrnavigation.com. Io. You can also visit our website on xrnavigation.io. And all our maps are free for blind users. XR Navigation, N A V I G A T I O N. Io. Hello, welcome. Thank you all for having me. My name is Charles Palmer with Patriot Vision Industries. Uh, it's a family owned business that my dad owns. He's been around for about 38 years now. I'm actually active duty in the United States Marine Corps on leave, just volunteering. We have a few exciting new products. One of them is the Patriot Voice EZ, which is a standalone reading machine, weighs about just five pounds. It's like your Keurig coffee maker where it sits on a table, but you place your documents underneath and it's able to read out loud. 
So by placing a piece of paper, like a newsletter or a mail, it'll automatically read out loud. There's three dials along the top. One of them, you could change the volume. One of them, you could fast forward or rewind. And one of them, you could change the speed at which it reads at. There's also a few other features such as pause and play or spelling the word. Uh, all of that is embedded into the three dials along the top. It's very simple to use right out of the box. It plugs right into the wall and you're able to read your newspapers, your mail, everything on the go for someone that's perhaps totally blind. We have a few other products down the line. One's called the Patriot VRM 15, and this one's a brand new Android 15 inch tablet that doubles down as a CCTV magnifier. So you have all your high contrast color modes, as well as you can zoom in or out. You could change to different colors as well, just by tapping with three fingers. It does text to speech, so it could read out loud the documents, as well as it folds flat into a little laptop case, very portable for students to use and a fully functional Android tablet as well. We have the same exact system onto a Patriot Pro 12.9. So this is functioned out of an iPad Pro and it has the CCTV magnifier capabilities that you're able to zoom in, able to change colors with just two fingers and able to do text to speech to read out loud as well as it folds flat into a little laptop case and a fully functional iPad. So it's like an all-in-one system, perfect for students to use and very portable to use. If you all would like to learn more about our product, our company's website is Patriot Vision Industries. So that is spelled Patriot as in P-A-T-R-I-O-T. Vision, V-I-S-I-O-N, Industries. I-N-D-U-S-T-R-I-E-S dot com. It's our company's phone number, if you'd like to reach out for questions as well, is one 800 three six four one six one zero thank you so much hey everyone sedona dave here proudly de demonstrating the new urban explorer from a werewolf gear okay the urban explorer is a five section super strong lightweight supportive mobility cane all right supportive mobility cane it's designed to be leaned on for balance support strength in the urban jungles. Okay, it folds nice and small, five sections. Extends in height. Okay, we've got four sizes. They all extend six inches in height. Everything that we need for safety and confidence in the urban experience. The Urban Explorers can be found at our website. That's awerewolfgear.com. That's A-W-A-R-E-W-O-L-F-G-E-A-R.com. Super strong, made to keep us safe, supported, wherever we go in our urban experience. All right, Sedona Dave, we'll see you out there. Take care. Hey all, my name's Alex. I'm here today demoing The Last of Us Part Two. One of the cool things about this game is that you can complete this game completely sightless. It has tons of built-in accessibility features that I'd love to demo for you today. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the game, it is a third-person shooter in a zombies horror survival scene. Um, obviously, in a third-person setting, it can be very difficult to navigate sightless, but I can just walk you through some of the core mechanics of the game. The first part is traversal. So there's uh, the L3 button here, which will automatically navigate you in the right direction. So you'll, you'll hear a ping, a little tough with all the crowd noise, but you hear this ping, it'll automatically orient you in the right direction. Doesn't matter if you're looking at the floor, at the ceiling, at a wall, this will always face you the right way. So I know to just press up to advance. And so it's a constant feedback cycle of pressing this button, repositioning myself, and reorienting myself to progress further in the game. The other core mechanic of this game, um, is uh, audio cues for items and zombies. So by holding R1 and pressing circle, you'll hear a ping letting me know that there's an item that I can pick up nearby. If you had headphones on, you would know that uh, this is coming from the right side. And based off the loudness of that ping, you would know how far it is. So over time, you would start to understand based off how loud that ping is, how, about how many steps it takes to get there. Once I do get to this item, you'll hear a ringing sound that lets me know I'm within arm's reach to grab the item. So I can press triangle to do that. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward here to to some zombies. So once I get close to a zombie, I can hold the R1 button, and instead of circle, I can now press square. When you when you have a zombie nearby, you get a different audio feedback than you would with an item. You hear a harsher like er sound. That's letting me know instead that this is an enemy. There's two ways I can approach this. I can be stealthy and sneak up to it. Alternatively, I can shoot at it. If I, if I go the route of shooting at it, I can aim at it. The controller will give me a little bit of rumbling feedback, letting me know that I'm locked on and I can shoot at it. It also gives me a slight audio cue that's hard to make out in this room. Also letting me know uh, that I'm locked on and can fire. After the zombie's gone, I can rescan myself. I don't hear any enemies. I don't hear any item. Oh, I do hear an item. So I can go towards that item. And then make my way there, pick up the item, and then progress. But yeah, so the, these few actions alone will get you through a lot of the game. Over time, the game will add slowly more audio cues for you. With all these different audio cues, you start to associate which audio cue is which button, and that helps you get through the game. Thanks for spending some time, and uh, hope you get a chance to enjoy. Hello, everyone. I'm Diego, founder and CEO of Strap Technologies. And what we do is a mobility aid for the blind and visually impaired. Uh, so basically what we did was uh, develop driverless car technology and package in this wearable right here. So you put it on the chest and it has a bunch of sensors around and it will notify the user of any possible collision or hazard uh, through a haptic feedback or vibrations embedded on the wearable. So depending where is the vibration, it depends where is the obstacle. We are able to detect things on the head, on the chest and in the floor area, including bumps, holes and staircases. Uh, the device is out from two years ago. We have been sold this in 19 countries. And you can find out more in strap.tech or strap.tech. Hi, my name is Chad Chilius, and I, along with my partner Dax Castro, own Chax Training and Consulting. Our company specializes in training people how to create accessible PDF files from a number of different source files. We also offer consulting as well as document remediation. And if you'd like to know more about us, you can access our website at accessibilityunraveled.com. That's A-C-C-E-S-S-I-B-I-L-I-T-Y-U-N-R-A-V-E-L-E-D.com. Thank you. Hey, Sam, I'm Amos Miller, and I'm the CEO of Glidance and we are developing a new mobility aid. And the special thing about Glide is that it's an autonomous mobility aid that guides the way autonomously. Glide uses its camera and radars to detect and uh, uh, basically make sense of the environment of, in front of it. And then as you walk forward, it steers its wheels and guides you on, guides you on the path. And the, the thing is that the wheels are not motorized. You hold the handle and you wheel it forward. And as you do, the wheels start to steer left a bit, right a bit, steer you around an obstacle that it might see in the way, keep you on the safe path, keeping a nice straight line, gets you all the way to your destination. It, uh, we are planning for Glide to be a device that uh, provides, again, another option for people to use as a mobility aid alongside the cane or a guide dog. Um, and to learn more about the device, you go to glidance.io. Glidance is spelled G-L-I-D-A-N-C-E dot I-O. We'd love to see you on the site. And if you're interested to learn more about the device and be part of the community, uh, please register. To register on the device, you'll be invited to our Zoom calls, and you will even be invited to join our pre-order program in the spring. Hi, my name is Alan, and I'm with Solar Grove Solutions, and we're here demonstrating our Vine C2 recorder. So this is an accessible solar-powered uh, audio recorder, an MP3 player. So this player was designed to, uh, to speak to the user as they turn the player on and walk through the steps. It was also designed that the user can start recording in as few as two steps. 
User will turn it on, select the folder they want to record to, hit the record button. It lets them know when they start recording. Uh, they simply click it again when they're done recording, and they can play back and uh, resume from any previous recording. This player has the uh, solar power, as I mentioned. Uh, around one hour of sunlight will give the user about two hours of, of playtime, uh, recording time. Um, it also ha will, will last up to about 25 hours uh, on a full charge, so gives plenty of time for, for use. This recorder uh, also is great for an MP3 player, so you can connect this just like you would a flash drive to, to your PC. Uh, simple folder structure, create a file, drop your audio files in it, and you can use it as an MP3 player on the go. Also, one of the great features on this is for our uh, low vision users, there is a flashlight that is here in the top right keypad. So just a simple press and hold will we'll light the LED light at the bottom of the unit. And when they let go, this will turn off for them automatically. Now, one of the things that, that separates this from a lot of uh, devices is the price point. So we work with our, our partners to, to offer it a low price. So a lot of places will, will have this unit uh, around $75 or under. You can learn about us by visiting our website at sgrove.com. Uh, That's short for solargrove.com. That's S-G-R-O-V-E dot C-O-M. <laughs>